Today we have a very easy and unbelievably delicious fish recipe. I'm going to be cooking salmon and salmon is one of my favorite fishes to cook because it's very easy because you can add a lot of flavor to it. If you're somebody who doesn't like fish in general, you can really put a lot of things on it that hide the taste of that fish if that's you. We're using sockeye salmon today. If you don't have sockeye salmon, you can get whatever kind of salmon that you have at your store. These are boneless sockeye salmon fillets. They do have the skin on one side. You can do skin on, skin off, whatever you have. It doesn't matter. My salmon fillets are kind of thin, and if you don't have the thin salmon fillets, it'll need to cook a little longer than I'm cooking it today. So make sure you be aware of that. This recipe is very easy. I'm using a lot of ingredients that you might have at home. And salmon is a very healthy fish to cook. I have it a couple times a week, and you can make it a million different ways. We have this recipe specifically probably once a week or once every couple weeks. So let's get cooking. It's just putting things on top of the salmon, putting it in the oven, and we're done. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take some olive oil and just drizzle it over the top of our salmon. We've got our salmon in a glass dish. And after I've got that little olive oil in there, I'm just going to turn it over a couple times so it gets covered with that oil. Now we're going to take some Dijon mustard and just spread it on top of our fillets here. I love Dijon mustard. A lot of flavor, not a lot of sodium. Our next ingredient is herbs de Provence. I keep these at my house and you should too. Another great way to add a lot of flavor without a lot of salt or without a lot of processed ingredients. We're not going to be shy here again, so we're going to just sprinkle this all over our fillets. Now if you notice, we're not using any salt in this recipe, but instead we're using ingredients that have salt. So you have to be careful because a lot of the salt that you put in your diet comes from the ingredients, not from the salt shaker. So the things that we're adding that will give this a little bit of salt flavor are black olives. These are pitted Kalamata olives that I'm just going to sprinkle around our dish here, some on top of the salmon. If you put them on top of the salmon while that fish is cooking, the flavor from the olives will just kind of infuse all through the salmon fillets. The other ingredient that's similar to those olives is capers. I love the flavor of capers. And again, we're going to spread them around over the top of those salmon fillets and the flavor will just infuse through the salmon as it's cooking. Capers are a very salty ingredient, so we're just using a little bit. And our last ingredient, is just a squirt of lemon. All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven at 350. I'll cook for about eight to 10 minutes for these thin salmon pieces, 15 to 20 minutes if you have real thick salmon fillets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a quick, easy lunch or dinner. Great for the family, tastes amazing, I promise. Hmm. The flavor is amazing. The Dijon mustard gives it a little bit of spice. The olives and the capers give you a little bit of salt. The herbs of Provence give you a little bit of freshness, herby feeling, and use this in a way to change your buds. Find your fish haters out there. Give them this recipe, see what they say. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Sign up for our newsletter, www.thecookingdoc.co. Great tips delivered right to your inbox. We'll see you next time. Thank you.